we're here with Billy Joe Saunders at Frederick's Restaurant in Islington. Um, got a massive fight coming up uh, in July on the undercard of uh, Chisora Fury against um, Emmanuel Blandemir. How much do you know about your opponent, Billy? Mm, not a lot, really. I uh, see little bits of footage of him. He boxed in Germany. Probably been boxing a load of bums out in Italy, thinking build his record up. Uh, finally, he's going to meet someone who's... You know, he's up there now and we'll see how he goes against, against me. But, you know, the way I see him fight, I don't, I don't, I've got no worries with him. And this is going to be your first fight since uh, September last year. You've obviously had the hand injury. You must be so hungry uh, to get back in the ring now. Yeah, I am. I can't wait. I mean, I haven't, I haven't even so much as put a, 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 a sparred since then because, you know, I mean, I had a bit of a break. Then when I did finally start to get into the groove of things, I had an operation on my hand. You can see the scar. Um done the tendon but you know it's boxing things happened didn't it and um it's got a crack on with it now it's getting it's, it's getting on the mend i've got a date i've got a plan put out in front of me and i just got to go and you know see if i can walk the walk and it's a, a different hand to your uh, hand that's been injured before i mean it, does it get quite frustrating and annoying when you get all these injuries it do yeah i mean because i would have been european champion by now probably I'd have owned me. I'd, I would have owned my um, British tile outright by now. Uh, but you know, you, some you just can't. You can't put your, you can't put your finger on it, can you? I mean, um, you never know when you get injured. You can walk out this door today and get run over. We never know, do we? So, you know, it's one of them things. You, it's got. To, it's, it's, it's life, isn't it? You just got to get on with it. Do you, do you think having this amount of time off? Do you think going into this fight and hopefully a world title fight, do you think having this time off from September to July, it will help you, um, the recovery process? You know, when some people say, oh, inactive ring rust, I had, since, since before my British title fight, I boxed five fights, then I had the British title, that was a six, so perhaps the six months of what I've had, seven months done me good. Um, obviously I've picked up an injury, can't be helped, um, but... You know, you just got to crack on with it, get on, like I say, and it's, it's just life, it happens. Probably, you never know, it's not going to be my last injury. So, you know, it's pointless getting yourself down about it. You just got to get on and do the best you can, and that's all I'm doing at the minute. And um, in terms of, um, this is basically an eliminator for the, um, Peter Quillin's uh, WBO title. Um, do you know much about Peter? What have you seen of him? I see Peter Quillin, little bits of him. I see, you can listen, like I said, people can only judge on your last performance. And me judging Peter Quillen on his last performance, I genuinely believe that I would take his title off him with ease on his last performance. Um, but, you know, you never know what people's going to bring to the table on the night. It's all about on the day. And uh, hopefully Frank Warren can secure it here. But if not, I'll go over there and fight him. And I, I'm, if I didn't think I could win a world title, I wouldn't step up and fight for one. As one as that. I'm not the one that's in it. Could you grab a few quid and, and gone? I'm in it to be world champion. I mean, if I had £5 million and lost for the title, I would be absolutely distraught, gutted. I wouldn't think, oh, I've got £5 million, fuck the title. I'd either win the title and have £1 million. Or win the title and have £100,000. Grand. Subbing, anything, just as long as I've got that title. And um, as, apart from Peter Quill in, in your division, middleweight division, there's some great fighters up there. Um, are there. Who are some of the other potential fighters you've got your eye on? Uh, well, what in the UK? Um, well, oh, in the world. Listen, I think you look at Sturm. You know he's getting old. I mean, um, he, he did beat Darren Barker, but I think that he's there to be beaten. Sturm. Um, you got Gill. He's not world champion at the moment, but he's fighting Golovkin. I should think he'd be fighting. Um, obviously, you got Golovkin. Unbelievable talent. Um, it's pointless. Everybody's saying oh, I want to box him because at the minute I don't want to box Golovkin. <laughs> I'm, I'm only 24, he's 32, I can walk, I can wait five years. Why do, I don't want to go in there and get smashed about, because he's, he's an animal, mate. But I would, I'd go and I'd try it. But, um, but he's, he's, he's got to talk sense in this game, and I think that Glofkin, at the minute, he's, he's the best out of there, out of everybody at the minute. I mean, he's the only man, if, if they got down to 154 or 152, if he could ever make it, is to beat Mayweather. I mean, but, you know, apart from me, I, I, I'm 24 now, like I said, another two years I'll be matured right up and ready to rock and roll for, forever.
And, uh, I mean, there's some of the world, uh, people on the world stage, but there are some great domestic fights out there to be had as well, with the likes of Martin Murray, Andy Lee, um, and someone that keeps on mentioning your name, uh, Chris Eubank Jr. Chris Eubank Jr., he sucks cock. He's so shit as a joke, honestly, he's just terrible. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr., he's just, uh, I, do you know what? I, I would love to say what I want to say about him. It, the man's a fanny. Yeah, honestly, he is. He, he's a complete. He, his dad is. I would do to Chris Eubank Jr. what Kawasaki done to his dad. Play with him. Absolute play with him. He's shit. I mean, if I couldn't, if I couldn't beat Chris Eubank Jr. in five rounds, I swear my son's life, I'd give up boxing. I would. I would. I would be disgusted. My dad would probably beat me with a chain if I didn't beat him in five rounds. He'd kill me. I get. If I if I didn't beat him in five six rounds, I go back to a site where I live. I get shot. Honestly, he is a joke. He is terrible. Um, he's just he's just rubbish. All, all in out shit. Seriously, he's shit. Uh, so I'd only be able to mention him. But yeah, Andy Lee, good fighter. Mike Murray, good fighter. And yeah, maybe in the summer or whenever they want. Because listen, I'll be ready whenever. I mean, I'm sure they will be as well. And we can get it on. Maybe listen, every with, with the domestic fights, it, they happen only if the money's there. Because at the minute, Andy Lee hasn't got a title. Martin Murray hasn't got a title. I've got the British in that, but, you know, I haven't got a world title. So I think the first one to, to capitalise on a world title against, you know, the the, Europe, the, the, the middleweight in, in uh, British in Britain, I think that, you know, that can make... We need a world title in Britain to make big domestic fights at the minute. I mean, everybody wants me to see see me beat Cushy Bank Jr. Uh, I've got, no, I'll tell you what I would do now. I'd ring Frank Warren today... Yeah, and I would say to Frank Warren, Frank Warren, let the European title go. I don't want a European title. If Frank, if, if this is if Chris Eubank wanted, yeah, I would say to Frank, Frank, I don't want to fight for the European. Leave the European, leave the world title. I will fight him for the British. Not that I need him to to make because he's on a couple of grand a fight. Tell you what, he's on twenty five hundred pound a fight. He's a lo- he, he's, his dad's his dad helps him through carrying his little shitty bag what he carries. Yeah, I would fight him tomorrow. I'd fight him on the Ju- I'd fight him on the July show if he wanted it. That's how comfortable I'm beating him. He would ne- he wouldn't he wouldn't he couldn't tie my boots up. He's rubbish. Matter of fact, if I probably see him, I'd probably slap him. Cause he's just arrogant. He gets on my nerves. I hate arrogant people. And he and he do he do rub me up. Listen, I am one of the best boxers in the game, I reckon, at middleweight. On your toes, not getting it slick. But I would make it a physical fight with him. I would go and stand toe to toe with him and have a war with him and have a fight and let's see who is the best man. And you mentioned the world title there. Um, there's a bit of a thing going on between you and Tyson Fury, who's on the same show in Manchester, who's going to be the first traveller to win a world title. Is there quite a bit of banter going on between you and Tyson with regards to that matter? No, Tyson, he's, he's a good mate of mine, Tyson. And that, I mean, we've been, we've been all over the world boxing in the amateur game. And, that, and, you know, good luck to him. If he can win it before me, I'll pat him on the back and say good luck because he, he deserved it. He works hard. You know, the same as I do, and I think that, you know, because we're two travelling boys, I think everybody is looking. I wonder who's going to win it first. We're both on the brink of it, and, um, you know, I think it's just uh, who gets that chance first. And, you know, at the moment, we're, we're neck and neck. And, um, you know, if he, if he wins it for me, good luck to him. That's all I say to him. Good and it luck. should be a great crowd then, uh, the phones for your arena that night with you and uh, Tyson, with the traveller community yeah, yeah. there. I mean, listen, I think, I think that'll be probably if they're. What, what are it old? Uh, I think it's about 20,000. Richard, what is the motor point? What is the old arena? 5,000. 5,000? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, in the travelling community in South Island. and I think when you when you put them together, I think that it's just going to be uh, it's going to it's going to be it's going to be a very good night of boxing. Put it that way. I mean, the fans are going to be bright, all of us. I think, and um, you know, because that's what a, a good fighter needs is good fans. And I think that I've got a few. I've built some good fans up, and um, Tyson always gives the fans what they want to see. You know, and I try to do the same. And I think that's going to be an unbelievable night of boxing. And going away from boxing, you're a big Arsenal fan. Uh, massive game on Saturday, FA Cup final against Hull. Will you be there? And could Arsenal finally break that duck? If they don't do it, I'll give up. If they don't win this, I'll give up. They've got to win this title. If they don't, I don't know what's going on. 
I'll be distraught if they don't win this. You don't understand. If they don't win this, it's like, I don't know. And this is, listen, it, that's all they've got to do is pick it up. They've just got to go there, kick a ball around. Because, listen, I'm not taking anything away from who they're playing, but come on. Let's, let's see. Are they, where are they in the table at the minute? Uh, Hull. Yeah. They finished about the eleventh front. Yeah, come on. Listen, they're not relegated, but... Let's just please, boys. Come on, let's win this. Let's just try and do this because I'll be, I'll be, I'll be close to suicide if this don't happen. Yeah. My mates, listen, you don't understand. The mates I've got, they're all Tottenham supporters and Manchester United and and Chelsea and ugh, who are you? Not Tottenham. Oh, you're Tottenham. You're, oh, you're Tottenham. Who are you? Tottenham. Oh, you? Oh, it's just what I mean. Why? Why not chat to him? Why ain't he got the mic? Why not chat to this man? See, this is it. No, all jokes aside, they've they got to do it. If they don't do it, I'll be distraught. They've got to do it. I mean... Uh, if not, will you get in the ring and uh, take a few of oh, the Arsenal players, teach them a listen, bit of a lesson? If they don't win, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, just, I, don't, I don't know. If they don't win, I'm going to have to go and... I'm going to have to be the manager, aren't I? I reckon, listen, if they don't win, listen, if they wanted it, if they wanted it, they could put me up front. And just leave me there, and I guarantee you get three goals. Go on, give him a bit of a pep talk now before the game. This is going out before Saturday. If you don't win, you're a load of bums, and I will not be supporting you no more. I've got the kit, I'll be at the game with the full kit, full hat, boots, socks, wristbands, headbands, everything to match. Belly painted Arsenal with two pints of beer in my hand, ready for this. And that burger? And two of them burgers. If they win, I'll be, ah, oh, that's, that's it. Forget the boxing party started. <laughs> nah, just want them to win. Good luck to the boys. I mean, uh, as long as they go out there and do their best, hopefully we get the top. Hopefully we get it. Well, we hopefully it. for you, Arsenal win the FA Cup and then end of the year, uh, world title around. Well, that's so it. Successful. Hopefully, maybe at Arsenal Football Stadium. Who knows? That'd be good. That'd be good. Cheers, buddy. Thank top you man. So much. Nice chance here. Nice